Content marketing is the best type of marketing according to 70% of the consumers. And yes, it's the consumers that decide what the best type of marketing is because they're the audience. And it also happens that content marketing is also the cheapest kind of marketing, which is why I love it so much. And also why I did a podcast with Lee on her show sharing my secrets, what I do to actually attract leads with my content marketing strategy, the steps that I use and the stuff that I learned throughout this journey throughout the years. Aloha everybody, welcome to my, well it shouldn't be called a podcast, it should really be called a vodcast because we are doing a video. But guys, don't worry, if you are driving, you can still listen to it because it's audio also. Today, I got the honor again of having another one of my business associates from The Great Discovery. It's, and guys, I'm going to screw up his last names. I'm not going to say it because he's, he's in Europe somewhere and he's got one of those Europe names. And like how they screw up our Hawaiian names, I'm going to screw up his names. I'm not going to say it. But his first name is Mads. So Mads, please tell us about where you are. Please give us your full name so I don't screw it up. And please share a little bit about the business that you're in. So Mads, floor is yours. Let's start with the name. It's Mess Cleatman or so. That's actually a full one. Most people won't be able to replicate that. <laughs> My new guy, he, he haven't been able to learn it. It's been years. He still screws it up. So I'm used to it at this point. Uh, <laughs> I'm located in Denmark. And one of the things I really do enjoy is psychology. I love how the human brain works, how it ticks. It's kind of what took me throughout my whole career and also what made me land on content. Specifically, what I help people with is content repurposing, so turning long videos into short videos. And I just really enjoy the psychology behind it. What makes the person tick, what makes them like it, all that kind of good stuff. That sounds really interesting because we all struggle with trying to repurpose stuff because it's hard to come up with new content all the time. Right. So I also understand and I heard through the grapevine and that's a huge grapevine that we have in our community that you have a course on the great discovery that is free guys, free course. So share with us what the name of that course is and give us some reasons why we should take your course and what you hope that us, the learner will gain from taking that course. For sure. Name of the course, getting leads from content marketing or from your content and content marketing for beginners kind of as a secondary headline on there. I wanted to answer some of the common asked questions I get in regards of what's the right platform to be? What kind of content should I make? Um, how do I actually get leads from my content? Um, and how do I convert those leads or how do I actually convert those people off the platform. Just kind of start off, one of like, when it comes to picking a platform, to me it comes, pick the platform where the content you want to make works. Don't worry too much about where the majority of your audience is. A story I always like to relate back to is there's this guy called The Jet Business on TikTok and um, he does private jet sells private jets. Of course, those videos are going to get views. That makes a lot of sense. However, he actually sells jets with people that find him on TikTok. Uh, if you can sell a jet, basically sell anything, at least anything under the 20, 30 million mark, which I guess most people listening to this are not quite there yet, at least would be nice. If you are, I'd like to definitely reach out to me on LinkedIn. I'd love to have a conversation with you. <laughs> I think we both will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love to meet that person. Uh, really, really interesting questions I have. And it, it comes down to when it comes to like making a good strategy. It's like mm -hmm. it comes four subjects. I'll go over them very briefly in this podcast. If you want to learn a bit more and have me elaborate, definitely check out the course. Basically, to start off with an awareness. You want to people actually to see your stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of platforms, it helps to have some of your posts do very big numbers because then those posts will kind of go into all of your other posts. 
Then you go into actually adding some value. How do you help people? How to all that kind of good stuff. Then building the trust. This is kind of where you want to show you. No matter what you do specifically, there's someone else in the world somewhere that's doing the exact same thing. There's just so many of us. So mm -hmm. that, there is your copycat is out there somewhere, but they're not the mm -hmm. same person as you. Right. Um, we had a great podcast with a guy that's called Ben and he talked about it's your DNA. That what makes you unique. That's what makes your podcast unique. Lee's DNA and, and her personality makes this unique compared to other podcasts out there. And then late, like the last one, sales, like actually having a CTA. Um, you can't just give, give, give and assume people will buy something from you because they might not even know you offer something. It's your responsibility to go out there and actually. Ask. Well, let's step back because you used a term CTA and yes. people may not know what CTA means. Does that I can't even pronounce it if I put the, the letters together. So what exactly is CTA? Because share with our audience what that means. Because that is an acronym, right? Yes. It's a call to call action. Time. Yeah. Basically, and yeah. what kind of Go call ahead. to actions are you asking them? Or if you tell us, is that giving it away in the course? Or do you give that away in the course? <laughs> okay, we can go a little bit into it. Okay. Probably, maybe I'll, I'll give, probably give a bit of a different explanation. Okay, Can't give us replicate. like maybe one sample of a call to action for the audience. Because I think knowing what a call to action is, is very different from us telling them, go do a call to action, right? Because it's like, what is that? How do I, how do I go do that, right? <laughs> well, simply it's basically you just ask them to go do something. It can be anything from go like comment. In this case, it's more you want them to sign up for your free course, sign up for your lead magnet. Preferably you make a post why your lead magnet is great and how it helped people to actually sell them on doing it. And then you have like a, a call to action at the end. A good way of also getting an idea of good CTAs or call to action specifically for anybody's industry. Watch the ad that always pops up on your feed that the most similar to what you do, because the reason why that ad always pops up is because it converts a lot. So oh. that's a good CTA for any industry, basically. Oh, that's a really good tip. So like watching YouTube or TikTok. Well, TikTok yeah. doesn't have too many ads come up before your video. It's more YouTube, right? Yeah. Where you get a lot of monetization, hopefully on your, on your content, where you'll have somebody come up and say, da -da 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 -da, and then they call them to an action. Skip the ad on one corner or click on the ad and go to their site. Yeah. Kind of hope they stay on your on your content because that's why they came, right? So yeah, actually, I think it opens in a different tab, but then people probably lose track of what they're doing. Yeah, well, you want that you don't want them to go down a rabbit hole on somebody else. You want them to go down your rabbit hole. <laughs> yes, preferably. <laughs> yeah. So, are you planning on having more courses on the Great Discovery, or do you just have one? I think you only got one right now, right? Yes, the plan is creating courses for people to be the perfect client. So that would mean that they would have an understanding of how to implement, I would say, at least two different platforms and also go out there and make good long format videos. So there's going to be courses on how to actually go in there and make good long format content and really diving into the different steps that goes into creating successful content and, and being successful within your content marketing strategy. Because that's really important, guys. If we're not successful with the content marketing that we're doing or any type of marketing, your business is kind of on the failing side. And I think we have a misunderstanding that whatever we do is going to market ourselves. I'm going to go re... re uh, rely on referral marketing. Referral marketing is 
one of the harder marketing places to get business from because we as people get inundated with so many different types of businesses and some people are in the basic same industry so if they're in the same industry how do you differentiate between one person and another how do you know that they're going to work better with somebody and I think that's what the great discovery offers all of us is a chance for the person who's taking the course to one am I gonna understand Mads because Mads is a very unusual mm -hmm. name is he gonna speak English to me or is he going to speak Danish to me? So taking that course, and it's a free one, guys, where you understand what he's saying. And if you don't understand, he's just an email away because he is in Denmark. So there is some time difference, but he will answer your emails because he's, he's young. He's up late, though we, I told him. He needs to go to sleep a little bit earlier. And he goes, don't worry, Auntie, I am. Then I said, okay, fine. Well, health first, because you don't have a health, you don't got life. So that's why he's rubbing his eyes, because I, what time is it there in Denmark? Because we're at 10.16 a.m. Well, it's 12 hour difference. <laughs> so it's, yeah, so he, it's about bedtime for him, but because he does a lot of business in the U.S., he is up a little bit later in his time frame but maybe he sleep hopefully he sleeps in because that's the best part yeah because we're busy sleeping too so he gets to get <laughs> some rest so mad tell me why you got the great discovery as your platform of choice to host your course uh, well i when i heard there was no monthly fee that was kind of a no-brainer uh, and the second thing was, both of me and Lee are very big fans of Alex Sip, the guy that introduced us to the Great Discovery. And I was, I saw the power of working with Alex Sip. All right. This is kind of a no brainer. It's both a good offer and probably more value than I'm going to get in any other place without even including the Great Discovery in terms of support and community. I wholeheartedly agree with you because I have been working with Alex Hit for the last four months and he never ceases to amaze me with the amount of giving that he does. And he is so patient. Guys, he has two accolades. You go look up his YouTube channel and it's con create, creator content or creation content. Or if you go to my channel, you'll see me. I have. Some you, you'll see him and I on there and there's his name and you can go search him because I couldn't afford him and I'm old enough that some of the social media stuff just goes like oh my god what is a hashtag <laughs> what is a keyword well I know what keywords are but how do you apply it right in our in our world because we're in a completely different world we're, we're on the online world so making that difference and having somebody that has done it and it's been successful and they come with those accolades is very, very important. Instead of somebody who's coming in going, I am a business coach, but you look at them and they don't look successful. So how do you, how do you figure that one out? Right? Cause we do a lot. So Mads, we got a couple more minutes. Any more words of wisdom from that young mind of yours? Yes, I have a few. When it comes to your content marketing strategy, make it fun and easy. If you make it hard and complex, then you won't get it done. And then you will do like me, create four or five different YouTube channels, do a little bit here, a little bit there. One of them does okay, but you quit. And then you sit five years after and what, wonder what happened if you just kept going back then <laughs> I think that that's my last bet so would you and maybe this isn't covered this this might be covered in your course because I'm sorry I didn't complete your course no if worries. you have a YouTube channel would you suggest them having several different playlists and if you do different types of content to put them into the pl appropriate playlist instead of getting 
different channels. Yes. Uh, depending on how different it is, if you're small, because if if you're small, you want don't want to confuse people too much. So, but if you like doing podcasting about different subjects that you're passionate about, you could have two different playlists. Would you possibly suggest the person to have a personal YouTube channel and a business YouTube channel? Yes. If okay. kind of, I used to create like videos about shoes and stuff like that because I'm very passionate about it. I actually used to work in a shoe store. That was my first job. And then I didn't want that confused with what I'm doing now. So that's on two different channels, even though the shoe channel is still generating views every day. Not a lot of views, but it's generating views every day. So you would get views on the channel and therefore more attention to the podcast. But it, I doubt the person watching a shoe review is the person that's looking for business podcasts at the same place. Mm. Some of but them. you could load your po- that, po- that podcast or broadcast that you're doing about your business as a play share thing on that shoe thing so that you could. Actually, a good idea. Very good idea. Like, yeah. Because I learned about that, yeah. Hey, being old sometimes counts because I, <laughs> I get to learn certain things and I get to go. And when somebody young tells me, oh, that's a good idea, I'm like, okay. Well, anyway, guys, our time is up because we don't want to keep you any longer. I will have all of the information for signing up for Matt's free course on The Great Discovery in the description. Please, if you want to learn more about other free courses on The Great Discovery, Remember to subscribe to my channel. Mahalo Nui Loa Mads. Aloha guys. See you later. Aloha. The Bye. only Hawaiian word I can say. Again, thank you very much, Salih, for having me on her show. I had an absolutely fantastic time, if you couldn't tell, because if you're watching this, you watch the whole thing. Because who just watches outros? I don't think I've met this person yet. I don't think they exist. The link to the course is of course down below and when you check out the course and you think it's great but you also want to know more about the team that me and Leah are a part of that we talk about doing this podcast the email as you can see on the screen at the top email that first call at companysaviors.com and we will make sure to get you set up with team Alex so you can be a part of the team that me and Lee are so grateful to be a part of again thank you very much for watching